I am picking up on someone who at one point was excited about their twin flame journey. You recently became aware of your twin flame journey and you shared some sort of message, some sort of content with your who you thought was your twin flame, expressing what the twin flame journey is about and the mission that was placed on you in their life, okay? And this person was involved with someone else. They have since moved on into some sort of commitment or marriage with this person. But at that point in the situation, you and this person were still communicating. You don't fool with this person anymore. They don't fool with you. You have moved on with your life I'm picking up on. You have accepted that they want to be with who they're with. And you moved on, okay? However, the person that they chose to partner with and commit to, 111, this person has always felt threatened by you. And they discovered back then, I, this is given like a year or two ago is what I'm picking up on. At least a year or two ago, you expressed your knowledge and your excitement about the twin flame journey to this other person. And their counterpart found that correspondence between the two of y'all. And she's been on your ass ever since, okay? Doing anything and everything to ensure that you and this man never partner with each other again, okay? These people are together. These people are committed, possibly married. But she wants to paint a picture to the world like she is in a stable connection and they are not in a stable connection. This was in fact your twin flame who chose to be with this other woman. That's his choice. But he has to deal with the consequences of that choice, which means that things have pretty much been rocky between him and this person since they got together and it looks like that's the future for them as well, okay? However, this woman, like I said, has done a number of things to keep this man from desiring or connecting with you. And one of those things that she has done is she has tried to reach out to various messengers, quite like the person who did the message that you shared with this man about the twin flame journey. She has reached out to various messengers, tarot readers, in an attempt to befriend these women and get readings that show that she is the divine feminine and that you are the karmic. She's been doing this ever since. She learned about the twin flame journey through you and what you told him, okay? So she has paid various tarot readers over time and they have fallen off 333 because a number of them realize that she is up to no good and they don't give her what she want but some of them have because she was paying them to so they created karmic readings for her to show this masculine that you were in fact the issue the problem the karmic, and that she was the divine feminine. This is also why this masculine has stayed with this woman because she was able to give him multiple tarot readers, messengers, and I don't even wanna call them divine messengers because they're not. They're karmic tarot readers who would do anything for a dollar. And that's why a lot of them have fallen off because a lot of them allowed this woman to utilize them in a karmic way to get what she wanted in a partnership. So they provided her with readings saying that she was the divine feminine when in fact you're the divine feminine, okay? This is the message child. I'm about to get to the tarot, but I got to get the channel message out. So she been doing this for about a year or two. And now this masculine is like, well, if you're truly the divine feminine, why are we always struggling? Why do we always have problems? Why are we 
in the current state that we're in. That is what he is asking himself now. Because it's been years and this woman won't get off your back. I'm telling you, you have not dealt with this masculine. Ain't tried to really. There's no proof or evidence that you've been trying to connect with this man. Yet this woman is hell bent on keeping you away from him. Even when you ain't trying to be kept. Okay. So she's, she's had to recruit some new energies recently. I'm picking up on one karmic terror reader in particular. This woman has been able to partner up with. She has some sort of association with this woman. This isn't just a stranger that she was able to manipulate with some cash apps, okay? Confirmation. One second. That was confirmation, okay? But we finna go straight to the tarot. We gonna just see what else come out, okay? I feel like this karmic tarot reader just delivered another message, another tarot reading to this karmic that is further supporting her case that you are spiritually attacking their, their union, their marriage, their partnership, and it's a lie. Clarify, Holy Spirit, please and thank you. You, ain't, you don't know nothing about these people got going on. You ain't sending them no hexes or curses. You could give a fuck. Okay, for real. Clarify, Holy Spirit, please and thank you. Is this is the true divine feminine attacking this karmic couple and their karmic partnership? Please and thank you, Holy Spirit. Clarity, please and thank you, Holy Spirit. We have the Queen of Cups and the Wheel of Fortune. Child, this is you, child. Okay, 111 on the clock when I put the cards up to the camera. You are somewhere minding your business at peace. That's what I'm getting from this Queen of Cups Wheel of Fortune card. You were not expecting things to go the way that they did with this masculine, but you accepted this turning point for what it was. And as a result, you are on top of the wheel. You are doing just fine. Because if these people are going through all kind of shit, okay, that, that would make sense that you're on the top of the wheel. That you are operating with compassion. That you're stable. That you've healed. Okay, that you're real calm about the situation. You don't care. Your life is good. Again, no, you did not get the man, but God has something else in store for you with this magician card because of the action that you took, because you moved on from this situation with the world card. I'm trying to tell you with style and grace, you ain't nowhere sweating this man. These people can't come up with no proof or evidence that you are trying to still partner with him that you've even expressed any source of heartbreak or willingness to be breadcrumbed by him if you can only be able to have some sort of connection with him you ain't did none of this okay you've moved on this one wants you to be a third party so bad that's what it feels like to me it's like that's the, if she can convince herself that somehow you're still trying to be with this masculine, then it it will prove why their shit ain't working out. But their shit ain't working out because they're not supposed to be together. In addition to all of the things that she has done, manipulative things that she has done to maintain that partnership, okay? Your energy is the Wheel of Fortune, Queen of Cups, the Magician with the World. But she out here trying to make it seem like you and the three of swords and the six of pentacles behind this masculine. I'm telling you, she's, she's done that with a number of people. She's convinced a number of tarot readers to pass judgment on you. Okay. And try to cause some sort of issues for you. And I'm telling you, whoever this newest person is, they are creating readings 
for this woman to show this man that say that the karmic energy is the woman who is alone, that the divine feminine is with the divine masculine, and even if they are catching hell on wheels, it's not anything that they've, they've done wrong. It's sorely this Queen of Cups, Wheel of Fortune energy, who is causing hell and havoc in their life. That is, that is the basis of the messages that this newest flunky is putting out for this woman to show this man, to convince him, 444, that they need to protect themselves from you, that you're spiritually attacking them. Clarify, Holy Spirit. Lovers, that you and... That he and her, that she and him are twin flames, that they are divine counterparts, that he has married the right person or partnered with the right person, and that if he keep holding on with her, eventually you'll fall off and they'll have a new start in life again, okay? That's what this quote-unquote high priestess intuitive tarot card reader been telling these folk and i'm telling you that this other woman is paying her to say that and she knows that he has some sort of respect for these types of messengers because of what she initially found that he had from you that you shared you shared a tarot reading you shared some documentation. You shared a web page, something about the twin flame journey. And I'm really picking up. It was a video. That's how she got put on to tarot card readers to the twin flame journey from what you sent to him. And this had to have been at least a year or two ago. And I'm telling you, she has become obsessed with tarot card readings, tarot card readers and tarot card readings. She has hired all kinds of people and has gotten upset when some of these tarot card readers would not give her the reading that she was desiring, okay? She would try to give them an earful or an email full of information about her and this masculine to try to sway their, their message, to try to convince them beforehand that you were the problem, you were the stain, you were the issue. But some of these, these readers have seen who was truly the divine feminine? Clarify, Holy Spirit. The star. I'm trying to tell you. And they let her ass know that too. The empress right behind that. The fuck. I'm trying to tell you now. They know. Ooh, I'm going to have to edit that. Because I know somebody going to be coming for this video. I'm going to make sure I edit that. But they know who the... They done told her who the true divine feminine is. Who the true star is. And who will heal the current circumstances that this masculine is facing. Because for some reason, I feel like this masculine is facing health issues as well. Okay? They're facing financial issues, mental health issues, and physical health issues. As a result of all of the manipulation that she's done to keep them together. Because it wasn't just paying tarot card readers. Okay? She done went to the court on this Divine Feminine. Lydon said this divine feminine was stalking and harassing him. The hierophant is falling right up under the three of swords. She has really went on a major smear campaign to make people think that this star empress, queen of cups with the will of fortune and the damn magician with the world, all of that now is running behind her and this trifling man. Because he trifling, I'm picking up on it. King of Pentacles at, or not. That's where he was supposed to be. Look what came out for his energy. The fool. Because he done made foolish mistake after foolish mistake. Fool, fooling around with this other energy. This judge, She this judgment energy. She want everybody to pass judgment on you. She's convinced people even to pass judgment on you. Wrongfully so. Because I'm telling you. Every tarot reader that she utilized to make up fake readings, to convince this man that you were a problem and an issue, all them people then fell off. 
all of them. Because they took these risks that got them wayward results in their life. Coming for a divine being, a divine feminine, in order to celebrate and have money and be able to have a little bit of money to spend even. Because for some of these women, she wasn't paying much. I've had to stop the camera twice. They do not want this message to come out, honey, okay? They don't want it to be exposed what they're doing to get this money, okay? And it, I feel like it's a number of karmic energies who have done exactly this to try to prove somehow that they're the, they're the divine feminine. And because these masculines, half of them may not even know any better, they don't even know what they're looking at. But if they're hearing somebody who's supposed to have some sort of clout and credit for being verifiable, credible, okay, they're going to believe that if they hear a number of people saying that, and she know that. But what they need to stop doing is listen to these random strangers that she keep putting in their face and they need to look at their life. Because if they look at their life, they can see that they in the Three of Swords and the Six of Pentacles. Not you. You in the Eight of Pentacles. And she's investing all of this money to prove that somehow you are in despair and she's doing good in life. Which we know she ain't doing good. That's why I'm saying it's like, what are you doing at this point? The universe is showing you that this ain't your masculine. Six of cups. And that he needs to reconnect with his twin flame. But he not willing to listen to that. He may have thought about it. He may be starting to question. He, he is definitely experiencing some nostalgia. Because I'm telling you, this man, the math ain't mathing. If you truly are so bad, why are you on the top of the wheel? And if this other woman is so good, why he on the bottom of the wheel with her? That's what he asking himself. Clarify, Holy Spirit. That's why she didn't have to find a new flunky. Please and thank you. Eight of Cups. If, if you were so bad that he, he should continue to withdraw from you and abandon the twin flame journey and never look back why is he catching hell why has he been in the ten of swords since he walked away from you if you so bad so her new method to the madness her new way to prove that somehow it's your fault this queen of swords she could be an aquarius the queen of swords is falling right up under the star is by having this person say that you're the cause of their demise. You're the issue. You're the reason why they're catching so much hell. These people in the 10 of swords, three of swords with the six of pentacles and you in the sun. No matter how bad she tries to make you look, no matter who she pays to use to prove that you are doing something ill and egregious against them, you are still remaining in this sun energy. All is well with you. You are having success. You're celebrating in life. You're enjoying life's pleasures. Meanwhile, this man's suffering with this quote unquote divine feminine. Okay. So I don't feel like whoever this most recent karmic terror reader is that she's paying, I don't think they're going to be able to convince this man any longer because too, too much time has passed. And if you truly were so evil and so bad, again, you would not be consistently on top of the wheel and they would not consistently be on the bottom, okay? Because this where they're at, five of pentacles. Five of Cups. This man knows that this woman has been lying to him. He knows that you are not the reason why he's in the tower, that the person that he on this card with 
is the reason why he in the tower. Okay, no matter how much money she paid these people to convince this man that they are twin flames, that they are divine counterparts, he knows that in order for his life to get better, he need to haul ass away from her with this chariot. Okay. That he needs to send you a message of love. He needs to try to make it right. Knight in shining armor. Following the heart. He needs to follow his heart. This man been following the intuition. The bold messages. The inspired action of other people. What other people think he should do about this divine feminine. And that's why he's in the situation that he's in now. Because I'm telling you, he, he, in his mind, in the beginning, when she kept bringing, showing him reading after reading that put her in the place as the divine feminine, and this woman was getting creative with it. She was even getting some of these tarot readers to ensure that they mention her, her zodiac sign as the divine feminine so that he would know even more that that was her not you okay she she went broke down there paying people to prove to him that you and him shouldn't be together that you were not his twin flame so like i say time will always tell and time has told it this one has even went to the courts. I'm telling you, with this hierophant energy, that may also be why they're in the Five of Pentacles now. Because she done made some false reports against you. And that shit then came back on her. Three of Pentacles. She done went and made some false reports against you. Trying to collaborate with the authorities to even get you out of the way. To make you go away. And I'm telling you, you done went away. You off somewhere doing your own thing. You are in this world energy. You may even be traveling. You ain't thinking about these people. But she went to this Hierophant Three of Pentacles energy and tried to cause some issues for you. But a light will shine down on the truth about her with these people, like some of those other tarot readers. The light, the light, a light will shine down on the truth about her and they stop fucking with her. That's why she down to this last little scraggler flunky I'm picking up on. I don't think this person is very popular. They don't have a very large audience, but they're doing just enough for her to be able to show this man, for him to think that this person is credible. But I'm telling you, this, this man not falling for the okie doke anymore. He's not allowing this woman to manipulate his emotions with these karmic ass tarot readers who claim they telling the truth. Okay? He not he not going for the okie doke anymore. He's not he's not accepting this communication as law like he was in the beginning. He knows it's karmic with this knight of wands, this quote unquote intuitive energy that these women are expect it must be women that these women have been expressing about his true twin flame, he knows it's karmic. That is impulsive with this Knight of Wands. So I'm not sure what this man is going to do moving forward, and I'm not even going to really pry, but just know that he knows the truth about who is really his twin flame and who ain't. He know who the divine feminine is, and he know who the divine feminine ain't. I don't care who he with. I don't care who he married to. This man right here knows. And I'm not saying just because you were not chosen that the other woman got to be a karmic. That's not what I'm saying. But in this particular situation, just because this divine feminine wasn't chosen don't mean that she the karmic because she far from it. And the, the woman that he did choose is why he catching all of this hell in his life because she is the karmic energy, a lesson that he was supposed to learn from and ultimately move away from as well. And he ain't do that. He listened to the karmic advice of strangers 
to make a determination about his divine soulmate. And that's also why he catching hell. Okay? And I'm dropping the mic. I hope this message helped someone. I hope it gave you insight and guidance on how to move forward. But always remember, if it doesn't apply, please let it fly. Take only what resonates, leave the rest, and I'll be back soon with another one, y'all. Peace.